Hey there, this is Roma Waterman, professional vocal coach and creator of the How to Sing online course series. We have had an amazing student in one of our courses ask this question, how can I feel my voice in my face? You've probably heard lots of people talk about feeling your voice in your face, in the mask of the face, and we talk about that in the courses. There's a whole section in How to Sing One on resonance. So if you're in that course watching this video, watch that for a whole bunch of exercises you can do. But for those those of you who aren't in that course, let me give you some really quick tips on how you can feel your voice in the mask of your face, feel that vibration of sound. So the first thing is just simply doing an M sound, hmm, hmm, feeling the buzz on the lips right here. You can even put your fingers right on your cheekbones and you'll actually feel the vibration. Hmm, hmm. If you can't, try to practice feeling that buzz on the M sound on your lips here. So it means you've just got to think about bringing your voice forward, not hmm, hmm. A, a way for you to actually get that is just go mm hmm, like you would be saying, yeah, okay, to somebody, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. you, you'll probably most likely naturally feel it in the mouth. So you start with that M sound. Mm -hmm. I can feel that all buzzing here. And then we're actually going to go through some exercises just on semitones that will help you feel the voice on some open vowels, like an E sound. A V is also really great for bringing the voice forward when you're doing an M and a V together. You can really bring uh, the feeling of the resonance forward in the face. I'll show you what I mean because it probably doesn't make sense without showing you. So we go, hmm, hmm, and then we're going to go move to another sound and consonant. So I'm using the V sound to bring the tone forward, to keep it forward, but then I'm using that E sound and you'll sound, you'll hear that I'm sounding a little bit twangy in my tone. It's because we're practicing resonance. I want to keep that sound, that vibration in the same spot. So your goal is to think in that straight line. Don't let that tone move. V in the same place, not V straight to my throat. Mm -hmm. Another way that you can get that sound is actually to think of sobbing like a boo or a um, think like you're English, very posh. Mm -hmm. It will just help you open the soft palate and put the sound in this area of the, the body rather than in your throat. So the mask of the face is where you should be feeling vibration. And then we just go up in semitones. Mm -hmm. I'm an English singer, opera singer. And then we keep going up. Now that's really buzzing in my head right now as I do that. And you just keep going up the scale as high as is comfortable. You don't push. As soon as you start to feel like there's a bit of a stretch, come back down. And you must always come back down the scale. Don't leave your voice up there. It will just help to develop your voice if you do this exercise over the whole range. Here's a second exercise for you. I'm going to make a fool of myself right now because it's a crazy exercise and you will too, but you're not doing it in front of thousands of people on a video. So you have to do it. Make sure you do it. And it's called the sobbing exercise. It's when you think of that really heavy sob, boo, hoo, 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 hoo. you actually feel the push in the diaphragm area as you do that sound, boo, boo. But the sound is very strong here and I'm feeling my soft palate raise up as I do that sound. So try that with me. We're going to do a bit of a sob. Here we go. One, two, three. Boo! Make sure you're using your diaphragm to do the accents without pushing. So I don't want boo, hoo, hoo. That's just throaty and you will get tired. But a very slight, if you understand what staccato means, short and detached feeling in the diaphragm. Boo, hoo, 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 hoo. 
Now you can just do that on its own or I want you to try singing. This is where the crazy silly me comes out and silly you comes out. I want you to try singing it on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So you've got to pretend that you're crying and trying to sob and sing at the same time. So it goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. There you go. Do you feel silly? Well, then that's good. They're my two tips for feeling resonance in the face. Give it a go and let me know your feedback. Have fun.